it's Kathleen. Another week, another trip to the thrift store, but this week it's a brand new thrift store. So let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This place is huge and there's like nobody in here. I don't know, I feel kind of nervous, like I'm about to go on a first date, meeting a new thrift store for the first time. Usually when I come to the thrift store, I have a rough idea about kind of what I'm looking for, but today I'm open to anything. And boy oh boy, I think I'm gonna find a lot. Just looking through these racks a little bit, they're super well organized, there's tons of stuff in here. And it's big enough that I feel like they have everything for every season out already. There's coats, there's bathing suits, there's everything. So I have two requests for you before we get started. One, pray for my wallet and two how would you feel about subscribing it's okay you can watch for a couple more minutes kind of get the feel see if you like it here but maybe consider it okay let's go look at some shoes i was on my way to the wall of shoes but then i got distracted by a wall of leather this is so beautiful let's try it kind of great no also across the racks i just saw this what is that wow I feel like trench coats definitely had a moment last fall. Maybe they'll have one this fall again too. But why do a tan trench coat when you can do a leather trench coat with a lime green interior? Dude, I've literally looked through one row. Oh no. Hi, it's voiceover Kathleen to let you know that next week we're going to be celebrating our one year anniversary on this channel. What? So make sure you stick around to the end of the video and we'll talk about it then. Wow, for a whole wall of shoes and uh, didn't find anything. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa. Look at these. <sighs> Sky vase. Wow. Um, I just looked up these paintings. They're like $700, and they would look so good in our house. Gus, when you watch this, I'm sorry, but I'm doing what's right for our family. I'm getting the paintings. Is that a washing machine? Oh my gosh. Oh, this bag is just full of salt. Oh boy. Why do I want this towel that says bathroom on it? If you saw last week's video, you know I got a couple little prints that I'm looking for frames for. I really like this like wavy wooden one. Kind of weird, right? For the ghost print. And I like this one too, but I'd rather it be square. Hmm. Big nut. Wow. I wasn't expecting to see you here. This is my next D&D &D character. Okay, 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 hear me out. How do we feel about a wooden tie? If you know me, you know it's a feat that I have not looked at the dresses yet. I saved them for last. So we'll look through and then we'll go try some stuff on. We're in the dressing room. It's montage time. I just remembered I have basically this jacket at home, so. a big baby. <laughs>
do we think? Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Okay, time to go home. the good stuff. <laughs> My fellow Americans and non-Americans and dogs, I come to you to humbly once again request that you sit on the floor with me so I can show you what I got from the thrift store. This is not your typical thrift haul. It's not full of clothes. Although I did get one cool thing, the skirt that I'm wearing, but we'll talk about that in a second. I would categorize this as a miscellaneous thrift haul. Items that I needed and two items that I didn't know that I needed. Let's just let's just talk about these first, right? We all want to talk about these. So we all saw when I was thrifting that it was truly love at first sight when I saw these bad boys on the shelf. Not to mention it's rare to find two matching prints or paintings at the thrift store. Usually pretty much everything is one off, but I think since it was a new thrift store, things were really well organized. So thank you, thrift gods, for that. And we all saw my surprise when I looked up this artist and these prints online and saw that they sell for hundreds of dollars. Even if they weren't super nice, expensive prints, I would have gotten them because they combine many of my favorite things. We know I love a mid-century moment. We know I love a Japanese motif. Could that be Mount Fuji? It sure could be. And who doesn't love a good vessel? A good pair of jugs. Uh, these are also extra cool because on the back of both, they both still have the tag from the original seller. These are both marked $200, which in 70s dollars is basically a million. And they're framed so interestingly. You can see the canvas, the wooden inner frame, the outer kind of decorative frame. I assumed initially that these were prints, but online, every example says that they're painted. And to see this kind of care given to the framework of the canvas leads me to believe that maybe these are actually paintings. Anyways, I'm stoked and I thought Gus was going to be not thrilled when I brought home more huge framed artwork for our house, but he was pumped. Also check out this detail. Since it is a matching set, this little table goes across both. Oh, snaps for details. I did promise him though that I would hang them up immediately so they wouldn't just sit on the floor. So we need to find a place to hang them up. I've got a couple ideas. Let's try them out. Come with me, I'll show you. Okay, first option. Also, I know it is just terribly dark in my house at most times. Um, that's what I get for living in the middle of the woods. But first option would be to put them on either side of the fireplace, although that will require like a cement drill bit that we do not currently have. So it's not possible right at this moment. So we're gonna have to go for another solution. The other option, Oh, hi, Kashi, is right here. And you might think that this is kind of like a tucked away area, which I kind of actually like that there's like really nice art in a really unsuspecting area. But when we go into the kitchen, don't look at my snacks. Um, you'd be able to see them both right here. So that'd be kind of nice. Wow, it is so incredibly dark. My ISO is really gonna be struggling right now, but you might remember this hallway from like my earlier Thrift With Me try-ons, which I usually use in the winter time because it's too cold to go outside, but we have this beautiful long gallery wall that is unfortunately empty. We're kind of waiting to get all of the gallery pieces before we put anything up just to make sure that they're all spread out well. So eventually, I think they would be great on this wall too, with other pieces, of course. But for now, I think the most immediate option would be the spot by the kitchen. So let's go do it. What do you think, little buddy? Yeah, I guess it does represent the inevitable passage of time in our unstoppable march towards death. It's a good point. Let me show you what else I got. All right, before I show you what else I got, we need to talk about something. And that something is little buddy. If you're not familiar with Little Buddy, well, that probably means you didn't watch last week's video. We went on a harrowing journey to bring this little friend home from the thrift store. And at the end of the video, I asked y'all to help me give him his full Christian God-given name. So we got 
at least a thousand incredible submissions. Some of my favorites were Templeton, Raphael, Hieronymus Ba, get it? But I think my favorite and the winner is Poe, as in Edgar Allen. It fits, right? So let me introduce you to our little buddy, Templeton Poe Ba. Poe for short, and little buddy for always. I don't think anything can stop us after what we've been through. Okay, now let me show you what I actually got from the thrift store. Like I mentioned, I got this skirt. We're gonna keep things casual this week. I'll just do the try on right now. It features this really cute diamond pattern that's filled with swirls. I think it's very cute. And I also got this cool wavy wood frame for the print that I got from Shaggy last week that you saw me open. However, you'll notice uh, it's missing the glass in the back because as I was checking out, I dropped it on the ground and it all flew apart, but it didn't break. So honestly, now my job's easier. I gotta clean it and it's already in multiple pieces. So this is great. Something I've always wondered about the thrift store is do they train people how to do these numbers? All of the pricing at every thrift store looks the same. Is it the thrift god who prices everything and makes everything look the same? Also, these wax crayons are super annoying to get off. Let's see what I can do. Very cute. I think that's officially my first Halloween decoration that I've gotten out. Although that's not specifically Halloween, that's a bad boy that can stick around all year long. Okay, my final item from the thrift store. I'm gonna give you three guesses. Did you seriously just guess a big old bag of buttons? Are you psychic? Yeah, I got a bag of buttons. Um, so I thought we could go through some of these buttons and um, uh, I'll sh show you the best buttons. Coming in at B tier, we have got blue triangle button, another B tier button, this red round one that looks like a clown nose, F tier button, fabric covered teal button. I just don't really like this color very much. C tier button, just a big black one, but you get points for trying. What am I doing? Come on, there's gotta be an S tier button in here somewhere. Ooh, there's a bag within the bag. Let's go S tier. Shamrock button, baby. Oh, it's a little pin, it's not even a button. Well, an S tier button, baby, it's a pumpkin. Wah, 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 wah. We've gone off the rails, and I think it's time to end the video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I hope you enjoyed our trip to that brand new thrift store. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite thing was that I found at the thrift store. The vase prints obviously take it for me this week. Those things are special, and I'm gonna smile every time I walk by them, I think. Now, exciting news moment. Last week I mentioned that it's the one year anniversary of me starting to make YouTube videos. So next week we're gonna do something really special. It involves giveaways. So if you like free stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can come back next week when I tell you all about it. It will include the thrift store, making some things, and just generally celebrating our one year anniversary together. Oh, that sounds romantic. Maybe some sparks will fly, who knows? Also, if you wanna keep up with me during the week, you can follow me on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated. And if you wanna keep this thrift train a rolling, you can check out my Thrifty Finds playlist. It has all of my thrift with me's, as well as last week's video, if you haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. With that, I think it's time for me and little buddy, AKA Poe, to get out of here. So I hope you have a great week. I love you. Be good. We have to set a good example for Poe now that he's part of the family. And I'll see you next week. Okay, I love you. Bye. Boop.